Now, another thing that I love doing is engineering. I enjoy taking someone's music and making it come alive just the way that they want it and beyond. Some artists I've enjoyed working with more than others, but here is one of my favorites. It's just something about getting the perfect blend of music and vocals to rhythmically massage the listener's ears. That, that's passion right there. This is Skeeter Riley. So no matter whose music I'm actually engineering, I look at it as the perfect puzzle to figure out. I really enjoy what I'm doing. Now, one thing about shows is that they're not always going to go the way that you want them to. The crowd may be dead. You may mess up a little. You may mess up a whole lot. I've been all over that place. Whatever that may happen, it's not a time to get like depressed about it. It's actually a time to be appreciative because it could have gone a whole lot worse. Something I learned from my big homie Phil. It been a performance that we was looking for, but a performance is a performance, and we got way more, you know, stuff in store. So we got to just take that as just a stepping stone. And we know it's a lot of stuff we disagree with in there, but we just got to be appreciative of it because at least it was a performance. It's an artist out there who did not get a chance to perform tonight, right, who didn't right. get the opportunity. There is an artist out there who, for our, our position, would do anything. So we got to take that as a blessing sure. in itself. So sure. we just gonna keep it moving. Right, right. We're trying to get wealthy, not rich. White man rich. White man. So I don't care if there are two people or 200 or 2,000. I'm going to most likely perform like a madman. If I could get one person from that performance inspired enough to chase after their dreams, I've pretty much done my job. Yeah. I like that. It seems like getting mine is starting to pick up. Usually after a show, I have to decompress. I'll, um, I'll ride in the car, either in silence or listening to some sort of audio that's uplifting or relaxing, inspiring. Um, after pouring out so much and exhausting so much of myself and my energy, my body, my emotions, I have to take some me time just to get replenished. I like driving through different cities at night. I love driving through different cities at night. It clears my head. It clears my head and it quiets my mind. Um, anyone who is a pure creative understands that those times where you just can't get things out of your brain, you just need your brain to shut up. And when you can get a chance to do that, take that chance. This puts my brain on mute. So at this moment, I'm actually listening to my brother. Uh, I'm gonna say that one more time. He's a pastor. Some of us know exactly where we are in worship, and, and because we know that, we don't want to come to worship. Because and the person I look up to the most. And once the Spirit of God start moving, it may just crack us open. And we don't want people asking us, well, what's going on with you today? Or what's your problem today? Or, oh, I ain't never seen you cry before. I've never seen. And sometimes we got to get to a place where we realize that even when we avoid worship, God will show up whenever you show up. And the journey goes on. Love, love, love.
Check it. So I was digging in my pocket, hoping for a profit. Keep my money straight, I put the iron to my wallet from the gunner to the grander. Mallet to a hammer. Two of my moves from the slammers. The haters call me cocky. Mama call me Rocky. I'm laughing because they stick me when they slap me. <laughs> I remember days without the keys, the G's. Scraping shakes together for a fry. Don't put cheese from Mickey D's. So please bear with me if the fans be in front.